A big challenge uh, that we've seen is converting the uh, traditional chemical education, which has not focused on sustainability or green chemistry in any significant way, over to this uh, really more modern and forward-looking vision. Uh, we've begun to change this activity by working with the Berkeley Center for Green Chemistry. And uh, that center has focused on revising our undergraduate curriculum, uh, revising uh, the way we teach our undergraduate labs, and also bringing in green chemistry and sustainability into the graduate uh, program as well. The tremendous uh, result is that our students are really enthusiastic about this activity. They've embraced it very strongly. And this gives us the opportunity to fundamentally change uh, the way that we teach chemistry and the way that we do chemistry when our professionals get out into the community. I think this will have a tremendous impact on uh, the practice of chemistry and chemical engineering because everybody will view green chemistry and sustainability as a totally natural process of our profession. And once this is executed, uh, it'll be good for the environment, it'll be good for the health of people, uh, it will be good for uh, the chemical process intensive uh, industry. And also this will change, uh, I think, the image of the chemical industry throughout society. So this is a very important thing to do. And I'm really glad that UC Berkeley is able to lead the way in uh, driving this transformation. I'm Richard Mathis, Dean of the College of Chemistry at UC Berkeley.